early part of 44, we received the, what they call the P-47D. And uh, what makes it so big is the, uh, are the ducts that fit underneath the airplane. They go from the engine to the turbine superchargers, which that's in the tail end of the airplane. And a turbine supercharger is what makes the airplane because you derive the 2,000 horsepower that you do at, at ground level up to its, what you call, uh, ultimate level of 30,000 feet. So everything from zero ground level up to 30,000 feet, I can, I can draw 2,000 horsepower. That added power meant so much. It meant that I could do combat with the enemy over his territory at all altitudes, and I could break off at will because I had more power than he had, and I could corkscrew go up the altitude and he couldn't follow me. Not only the uh, power, but the visibility of the pilot in the cockpit changed drastically because from a, from a uh, regular uh, uh, canopy that had bars on it, we now had sort of what they call a bubble canopy. That was just like looking out of, uh, out of a, a tube a glass tube, so it gave us tremendous visibility. Now, we had to learn very gradually as to what advantage that gave us over the Falk 190 and the 109. The most important thing that a pilot has to uh, think about is, as he's going in the combat, respect your adversary. In other words, don't underrate the ad adversary. So. Uh, there are no miracles, there are no born fighter pilots. Some are a little better than others, and that's about it. But I would say time, training, 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 and more training is the key to any success.